probably one of the rarest Dysons that there is, I would imagine I should say. This is a Dyson DC-18, a very short-lived, I would say, prototype of the ball design. This came before the DC-24 and DC-25 series. I mean, we had the DC-15. This is sort of a slimmed down version of that. Not very popular, didn't last very long at all. This one is broken in one way or another. I haven't started to look at it yet. I thought I'd turn the camera on and we go through it together. Although for the repairers amongst us who are probably typing out what's blatantly going to be wrong with this machine, I agree, I think you're right. We shall confirm whether the common changeover valve problem is the problem, or is there another problem that's causing the problem? Hopefully it won't be a problem, and we can have this machine problem free and working well once more. Let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums, how? are you today? Yes, I thought we would start off at the top of this machine because before we work out if it's fixable or not, it is pretty cool. It has the same reverse handle that the DC-17 has and I'm sure others as well, comment down below, with the machines that this shares. But yeah, it, it makes it very nice to use indeed. Let's Remove the cable, which again reveals our DC 15 esque lower cord hook. Missing the upholstery tool, but here, look, is the very again specific to the DC 18 dusting brush. Probably, maybe the first iteration of a sliding brush on a nozzle. It, it must be really, unless the DC, uh, uh, DC 16 had its little one. I don't know really. Um, what I do think we need to do is take the wand off because this explains this rather stupid looking handle because you can hold it like this on the 07 you have to take the hose off and put it on the other end but on this you can crack on and do what you need to do. Felix can we help you? So that's pretty cool and again the hose isn't broken it's a thin Hose rather like a DC03, but very nice all the same. Um, oh, actually, no, there we are. Which way round it goes in? So that's pretty good, pretty cool. Let's move on down and have a look at the cyclone and filter. Now, the cyclone is, I think, a, a DC25 cyclone, it might be maybe made a bit smaller and thinner, but oh, crikey, yeah, I think this is exactly the same and oh look at that that's needing a foam gasket so i would imagine that again this is one of the first generations to do away with the nice robust rubber seal that never fails and put a stupid disposable piece of plastic in there that then lets us have a sort of look at the post motor filter which we're not actually going to be taking off in this episode unless i have an absolute epiphany, which, because I, I've got a DC-18, I have never done anything with it. We need to have a look at it too. Uh, I can never get this off. It looks like it's a half turn. Look, you just turn that around to there and up it comes. But, oh, blimey, it's so freaking difficult. I don't really want to break this cover because it might be quite fragile. And underneath it is actually just, I think, that little bit of, like, cloth on the top. It is just... A diffuser in this model. Motor sits there rather than in here. This bottom part behind the wheels is all the changeover valves here. The motor sits here, changeover valve sits there, and the floor head sits on front and it does come off like so. And it's ever such a compact and small design. We're gonna we're gonna note that reset switch but not touch it yet because hey it could be that simple. And yeah, it's, yeah, DC 15 miniaturised. Luckily, it has a plastic base plate, which I think wears better than the DC 15. 80 watts. Blimey. Literally, the V11 was like 10 times that powerful. I'm sure that was nearly 300. That's very good. 
not 300, sorry, 100 and something. Tell me down below. And yeah, the brushes spin, bit of hair, but again, I don't think this is so much the problem. I think the problem is going to be, look, there's our little ball, look. We have nothing in there this time, it's, it's hollow inside. Somewhere in here, I think a lever is broken and something isn't being turned. Although, it does feel like it is. These have a very common flaw, where a piece of plastic breaks off. This is what my DC-18 has, which is why I haven't done anything with it, because you've got to strip the whole thing down, and I haven't done it yet. I think it's enough guessing. I think we should move on, plug this in, and see what's actually flipping wrong with it, because it could be something else. The guy just said it wasn't picking up, so, eh. The one suction is amazing and it sounds really healthy, so I guess we're going to have to pay attention to what happens down below. Are the brushes going to spin? Yeah, that's working fine. It's actually working quite nicely. Now it's fine, you probably hear it. Blimey, maybe I should just quickly tell him it's scrap. Go and refurbish the spare UP22 that I've got in the shed and put this on eBay. This is working absolutely fine. Um, I'm not quite sure what's wrong with it. Let's. I did hear a slight rattle from the brush roll, and obviously there was that annoying hair. So, to at least say that we've done something, let's have a quick check and clean up of that before we call it fine. Maybe sort the gasket. To remove the brush rolls on these again, blimey, it shows the generations, doesn't it? Nowadays, it's just two little latches on the back and the whole thing flops down and then you can't do anything because your brush rolls are screwed in. Here we have the big old full-size quarter turns, which pull up on an end cap and pull the brush out. And again, bar that hair, it's... It seems okay. Again, you've got a nice, robust axle there, so there's not really anything wrong with that. Um, a bit of, bit of hair trapped around there. That's what's always good to get out before these burn out, because sadly these probably have the opposite problem of the DC-40 now. The DC-40 motor or gearbox goes out. It's fairly easy to get another one. This, maybe not so much, but... Phoenix, shush. Go outside and be noisy. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is actually okay. Look, you can even see through there. Normally that on a 15 gets absolutely full of crud. And then that pushes on this, which eventually expands and breaks. But yeah, this seems fine. All I'm going to do on here is clean this hair off and put it back together and then we'll move on to the cyclone gasket. With the bottom end all done up, oh, blimey, ah, let's have a look at the gasket and see how bad it is. This machine's been used for DIY, I know, because I've just pulled some chunks of compacted plaster dust out of the brush roll end. So hopefully that will help it. I want to be a little bit careful here because we might be able to do this without me having to reset the middle latch. Ooh, oh no! Oh, we do have rubber! Hallelujah! Okay, I take everything back. Oh yeah, that's... Ah, okay, well, that's fine then. Maybe all it was was just this filch has never been washed. Oh, blimey, I, I doubted you. And look, I even went and got... Oh, my gaskets, and um, I don't want to let go of this. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, look, it is a DC-25. So I wonder if one could go and perhaps purchase this part from a DC-18 and fit it onto a 25. Although the problem is these cost, like, £2, like, less if you buy a pack of them. I imagine this costs a fair bit more. But that 
is not, um, probably was not a problem at all. Oh, you go back on there. I'll do all the screws up, find a clean filter, because again, if it's a DC25, I've got a washed DC25 filter up there. And then we'll try it again and see if it's any better. Found this nice washed. It's, it's washed, you can still see that all the lint has gone deep into it. But a washed and tidy DC25 filter in there it goes. Oh. I would say this is an exemplarily good example of a Dyson DC-18 and using it right there and then has made me want to go and get mine down for the loft once I've got the couple of current projects I'm working on out of the way. I might have to turn it down. Mine does have the broken changeover valve so we need to look at that completely. But this one we didn't. Unless the guy you know tells me something that we haven't found I would say that this very rare, actually quite nice Dyson is done, ready to go back to its owner and be a good Dyson for many more years. So do you have a DC-18? What do you think of them? Has yours had the dreaded changeover valve problem? And has yours ever been to Dancy's? Another collector said that that's very near to his house. So there we go, for any of you who know the Dancy's repair shop, comment down below as well. But this Dyson DC-18 all floors has been to the Beko 1987 shop. I think you'll agree we can class him absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with it. And until the next disastrous Dyson, I, but not this one, but hopefully my one, will see you soon. Bye-bye.